Guys, we're gonna do some bacon wrapped asparagus in the Ninja Foodie Grill, coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, and you get alerts on all what we're doing here. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share this, all that good stuff that you have to do with YouTube. Comment down below, you know. So today we are gonna do some bacon wrapped asparagus on the Ninja Foodie Grill. I'm gonna show you how we do that real quickly. It's a great little side dish. Great for our keto fans out there. And you know, I just love asparagus, I love bacon. We're gonna shred a little Parmesan on top too. A little pepper, a little salt, it's as easy as can be, all right? We're gonna use the grill, but we're gonna use a low setting, okay? Last time I did some bacon wrapped anything using the high grill setting, a little bit of smoke formed because it's just too much, you know, fat in that bacon with too much heat coming down on top of it. So we're gonna do the low setting. Just let it come up the temperature easy. This is the best part about this, this uh, foodie grill is that it's gonna add continuous heat around that bacon. So it's gonna crisp up real nice in there, add a nice char to the asparagus. It's gonna be wonderful, all right? Come on over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. Okay, we're over here on the Ninja Foodie Grill Station. Let's turn our Ninja Foodie on, we'll get it preheated. We're gonna use the grill setting low, it's 400 degrees. Hit start. We have the grill plate in there. Let's start preparing our asparagus. All right, so here's the deal. This is what I do. You don't have to do it, but this is what I do. When I'm working with this, I bend it till it breaks. All right, you guys see that? Then I eyeball it, cut them off. Just that easy, all right? Or you can do it how you want to do it. You do you, but this is how I'm going to do mine. All right, okay, we took the rubber band off. Let's get this uh, bacon ready to go. Cut into it. Okay, real simple. We're not using the thick bacon here. We are going to use just the thin. I, I really suggest you use the thin. We're gonna take three Asparagus, wrap it up. See that? Sorry, I wrapped it. All right, and then just start wrapping it onto itself. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it down on the we're gonna put it down on the grill with this seam on it. All right. That way it stays. It starts cooking on and it stays together. Okay. So, three more again. Take out a piece of bacon. Start at the bottom. Wrap it onto itself so it stays together down there. And then just start wrapping. Roll it on up. Okay. And again, we'll put it seam side down. Okay, let me get the rest of these done and uh, we should be ready to get these cooking. All right, we're almost up to temp on here. The next thing we're gonna do is spray it down with a little bit of canola oil. All right. And then we're gonna add a little salt on top, just a little pinch or two. You don't need a lot of salt because obviously the bacon has a lot, it's a bit salty too. And we're doing a little cracked black pepper over the top. Okay. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that, what timing. Okay, let's get these bad boys in here. That sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. One. 
So careful touching a little bit, no big deal. It's looking good. All right, I'm gonna shut it down, keep an eye on it. We're just gonna cook it till the bakey gets nice and crisp. Okay, we're about five minutes in. Looking pretty good on there. Bacon's crisping up real nice, no smoke, we're doing good. Uh, we'll go another five minutes, take a look, and then if we have to add more time to it, we will. Not a big deal, but they're coming along real nice. Looking good. Okay, next five minutes is up. We are not ready. The bacon is not crispy how we like it yet. So I think probably another five minutes and we should be good. So let me reset this. I should have just set it at like 15, 20 minutes when we uh, set up the preheating, but that's not a big deal. We will get another five minutes set up on here and uh, hopefully come back. Okay, we're at another five minutes or so. Still a little, uh, not as crispy as I want it to be. This is perfectly edible right now. Like you'll be safe, but I like a crispier bacon on there. So we're gonna go another three, four or five minutes, no big deal. So if you like a little bit of uh, looser bacon, you're good to go by now. I like a crispy bacon. All right, come on. Okay, we're coming up on the 20 minute mark. These bad boys are looking good. Cook through, get a little closer for you. It'd be nice. All right, let's get them plated up and get them ready. Uh, great, a little Parmesan cheese on top of these just for a little extra flavor, a little extra nuttiness in there. Ah, it's good to go. Let that kind of chill out a little bit. Okay, these are all done. We took the thumbnail, made it look pretty. Cut a big old bite off of it for me. All right, there go, perfectly done. Looking good, let's take a bite. All right, here we go, take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Man, you know that is good. Oh my goodness. Bacon, asparagus, you know how it rolls. So good, a little of that Parmesan shredded on top, a little pepper, a little salt. Oh, it's perfect. All right, give this one a try for sure. Guys, if you want anything in this video that I use in here, like the cutting boards, the knives, Ninja Foodie Grill, I'm affiliates from all of them. A couple of things have uh, coupon codes down below. Make sure you click on those links. It helps out the channel, helps out Big CJ. I appreciate it. If you guys want to become a show producer, click this link right here. Get your name at the end of the video. There's a couple other things in there. And uh, you'll be immortalized in asparagus and bacon heaven. All right. All right. That's it for this week. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.